exercise 14. Exercise 14 is also looking at nominative, your verb action, accusative, or direct object format. Right? Anything that's possessive is either going to be possessive here, genitive of your nominative, or genitive with accusative. Okay. And we may have a conjunction. Number one. Christians praise the Son of God. So Christians, so Christians praise, right, Son, Fili um accusative. So Fili um, you go across, of God. So that's going to be your genitive. E. day okay so in english the order oh do we do this christians here we go it's plural nominative the christians praise the son of god that is the order in english now we know that in latin we move accusative next to nominative and you leave your verb in the end. So, and then everything else follows, right? So in this case, you have genitive following this accusative. Um, so it becomes Christiani filium dei and plural laudant. That's what you would write. Christiani filium dei laudant. Okay, let's set up our next one. So this is genitive. This is also, let's see, that's accusative. And your plural back. Number two, Mary sees the Son of God. Mary, Mari, that's singular, right? Your subject, Maria. Maria. She sees, right? We know it's widet versus widet. Maria widet. What? The Son of God. Feely. So it's going to be direct object after sees what? Sees the Son. So that is accusative. Feely um. Of God. So now God, that's genitive, it's possessive. One, not two, one. So it's E, De, E. So you're doing two things. You're going to translate your English into Latin, and then you're going to move the order around. So, Mari, A, we that, Fili, Um, they, if you're doing it English order, but we move the, the accusative and genitive afterwards. So, mari a fili um dei widet. That becomes your Latin translation. Again, mari a fili um dei widet. Okay, let's set up our next one. It's genitive. This is accusative, singular. And then we have nominative, also singular. Christians praise the victory of Christ. Number three. Christians praise the victory of Christ. So let's try some other format here. Let's stick in our verb, praise. We know it's praise, but it's Christian, so we know it's laudant. Okay, our subject is Christians. So we know that Christians is a second declension masculine. Right? Our subject is Christians, 
not singular, but plural. So it's Christiani. Christiani. And we know it's laudant. Now, they praise what? If you can answer the what question, it's accusative or direct object. So they praise the victory. The victory. So that's accusative. So it falls in here. Victory. Victoriam. Victoriam. And whose victory? Who's the possessor? Of Christ. Of Christ. So is it accusative? No. Of Christ. That's a possessive. If you think of possessor or possessive, you know it's here. Of Christ. Is it one Christ or many Christs? They just say Christ. So you know it's singular. Christi. Christi. So that is your translation. Christiani laudant victoriam Christiani. Right? But we know the order is different. We know that accusative follows, and we know that this genitive belongs to this accusative. So then the order becomes Christiani victoriam Christi, what? This was plural, laudant. Christiani victoriam Christi laudant. Okay, number four. Let's set up number four. Put everything back. This is genitive. This is am. Um. This is plural. Mary praises God. Mary, we know, is a, is a first declension. One Mary, Maria. Maria. What verb are they using? Praises. She is one person, singular, so it is laudat. Maria laudat. She is praising God. Day. So, direct object. If you're answering the question what or who, who is she praising? God. That's accusative. Singular or plural? It's, it's singular. De um. Okay. So your translation is Mari a laudat de um. But what do we know about the order? We put this over here. And now your answer for the exercise is Mari a de um laudat. Mari a de um laudat. Number five. Set up number five. Um, is that accusative? Ah, is singular nominative. God praises the glory of Christ. So we know God is a second declension masculine stem or root word. And so it's, the subject is nominative. It's one God, not many. Deus. That's what goes there. What verb are we using in English? Praises. Laudat or laudant. If it's one God, it's laudat. The glory of Christ. So what are we praising? That's accusative. If we can answer who or what accusative glory so accusative let's go across right is it many glories or one glory just glory so it's glory um glory um of Christ do we have a possessor yes possessor right one Christ or many Christs? So, Christi. So, your answer becomes Deus, for translation, is Deus 
laudat gloriam Christi. Now, your order answer for your exercise becomes this. Okay. Deus gloriam Christi laudat. Again, Deus gloriam Christi laudat. Okay, so let's put everything back. Genitive, singular. Put your verb back. This is uh, accusative, singular. Put glory back. This is singular, second declension, nominative. Okay. The next one, let's see, number six, Christ praises the friends of Mary, okay? Your subject is Christ. What do you know about that? It's second declension. Christ, subject, singular, Christus, praises. We know that's laudat, singular, so it's going to be laudat. Christus laudat. The friends, plural, right? And the, so Christ praises direct object who were what? Friends, right? So that's accusative. Let's go across. Os. Amicos, amicos, of Mary. So who's possessing? Mary, right? She's possessing. Is she singular or plural? Singular, Mari, I. So the answer, translation-wise, is Christus laudat amicos Mari, I. Now, for your answer, you change the order. Accusative is going to follow nominative, and this genitive belongs to this accusative, so it follows, right? So then the answer you write in is Christus amicos Mariae laudat. Christus amicos Mariae Laudat. So let's put these back. This is genitive singular. Put your clenching back. Put your verb back. This is genitive, right? No, I'm sorry. This is um, accusative, plural. And this is singular, nominative, your subject. And put that back. Okay, number seven. The servants of Mary praise Christ. The servants of Mary praise Christ. So, the servants is your subject. So, that's right there. Nominative, we know it's second declension. The servants, singular or plural? Servants, plural. Said we. The servants, and now we have a possessor. Who? Mary. Of Mary. Not ma many Marys, just one. Mari I. It goes there. What's our action? Praise. Right? Now, that was plural. So this is going to be plural. You always have to agree. Laudant. Said we and laudant agree. The servants of Mary praise who? We can answer the question who or what. We're looking at direct object or accusative. And the answer is Christ. So direct object. And it happens to be second declension masculine. Right? Accusative. Christ. One Christ or many Christs? They're saying one Christ. Christum. Oh, sorry. 
Christ, Christ. Boom.